Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. A very quick one today, it's sort of a mix of a pen haul or pen mail haul sort of video and a bit of an update on a few things. Um, I've been away for the last week and I came back uh, from work to find some pen mail and it's really uh, exciting. Uh, first thing I got were uh, samples of the Robert Oster 1980s uh, collection, uh, which is the uh, Whisper Red, the Grey Seas, Bass Strait, Uh, dusky pink, opal green, honeybee, which I'm also wearing the sample of, and clear water rain. Now these are really interesting sort of pastel colours, there's very little sheen on these things, if any. Uh, you can catch a little bit on bastrate and a little bit sort of in the clear water rain, but mostly these are nicely shading sort of light saturation inks. Um, I particularly am a fan of uh, grey seas and clear water rain. I think these two are really interesting colours. Um, as is Bass Strait, I think that's got quite a nice sort of blue, um, but particularly these two. Uh, I think grey seas is interesting in comparison to something like the uh, uh, Stormy Sea or so, um, one of uh, Summer Storm of Robert Oster. Uh, but this has got a little bit more sort of saturation to it and I think actually will be a very nice sort of grey-blue ink. Uh, and then this Clearwater Rain is a really nice sort of turquoisey, almost teal colour in the darker shading. So yeah, it's a really interesting little set from Robert Oster and um, if anyone follows me on Instagram you'll see a rather amusing post about these uh, coming up next week. Also that came in the mail today was the DC uh, Super Show Blue from Monteverdi. Monteverde. Um, this is the ink on a colouring card uh, and it's awesome. I was debating whether to get sapphire or this and I chose this because sapphire was just a little bit purple and I've got some nice purpley blues but this is a really lovely true rich royal blue. A um, little bit of sheen, not my, that's not my uh, thing with inks but uh, it is there and it's a really nice ink and I'm looking forward to, I've got this inked up in my, um, I was going to bring it out, my Pelican uh, M250, the, the gold nibbed version of the uh, 200 205. Uh, so from, I think it's from the, mine's either from the late 70s or the early 80s. It's a really lovely pen, writes really, really nice and wet, sort of uh, as you can see from that writing sample on the card, uh, which was done with the pen, nice sort of narrow medium nib. It's very nice. Uh, and yeah, it's a, just a really nice, really nice ink. Um, so now on to a few sort of uh, other pen things. Firstly, the first things that sort of came in the mail. Firstly, I got my first Retro 51 Rollerball, the stealth one here, uh, which uh, it writes beautifully, beautiful mechanism. I am really, really like it. I'll get to use this and get to know it over the next sort of couple of weeks. And, you know, maybe I'll uh, invest in a couple of the other ones. I quite like the Newton uh, one. It looks like sort of the blackboard look of, about it. Uh, and also, of course, being a bit of a nerd, I like the dinosaur ones. So I might have to look into getting those as well. But these are really great. I'm going to do a review of this and the Tornado uh, Fountain Pen, which I have in the Lincoln model, uh, coming up probably early next year. So, yeah, keep an eye out uh, for those. A fountain pen that I've been wanting to get for a while um, was the Stipula Etruria and this is the Gorilla finish, which is a lovely matte black finish with this sort of gunmetal um, trim. It's a beautiful pen. Not sure I'll do a review on this simply because I've got so many pens to review. Um, I'm sure we'll down the track, but it's just a great pen, great size in the hand, and it writes really well. Um, I've currently got this, uh, I shall show you, I've got it inked with um, Franklin Christoph ink, the Arushi Red. Uh, and this is, of course, the Stipula Etruria Gorilla. This is a medium nib. Now, it's not the wettest pen going around, uh, and it's it's smooth, but there's a nice feedback on it. It's actually a really nice feedback. It feels really great on the page. Um, sort of like you're writing with a pencil, um, which is a, a sensation that I quite like. Um, but it's wet enough to lay down a lovely amount of ink to get some nice sort of shading uh, and to put a really great uh, mix of the colour down. So really happy I got this pen. It feels really nice in the hand. It's an instant favourite. Um, 
and a pen that I'm really looking forward to getting to know and use and, and love uh, now that I've got it in my hand. Okay, so then the last thing I got, now a lot of you, once again, I showed you a rollerball just before with the uh, um, Retro 51. I do still like ballpoints and rollerball pens, but this one was an interesting one. A lot of you will be familiar uh, with these. This is the, the Uni brand. Um, this is the Pure Malt Traditional, I don't know, like multi pen. Um, this has a, a black and a red a jet stream ink. Uh, cartridge thing and it also is a pencil a mechanical pencil so as you click down the clip um, you engage the the mechanical pencil and oh, there we go okay uh, and this is the point uh, seven, uh, point five sorry millimeter lead and it's very nice it right, feels nice in the hand it's got this grip section here that's made of um, malt wood uh, so from a, a whiskey cask, which I quite like as well, being a, a Scotch drinker, uh, and yeah, so it's it's really nice. It feels nice in the hand. It's a nice size. Um, yeah, so with the mechanical pencil, it's good for work for me because I use pencil a lot. So I I replaced the lead, which was a an HB with a I've replaced it with Pentel brand two B uh, ink, um, and yeah, it's just a really nice pen. These Jetstream uh, gel ink cartridges are, are pretty. Pretty nice actually, they write very smooth, they're 0 uh, 0.7 millimeter. Uh, so, there's the red, and there's the black. So, while they don't, um, they're not a rollable like the, the Retro uh, 51, which is very smooth and uses like a, a real ink, um, it's a nice sort of ballpoint gel pen sort of. To have in the pencil case and to have ready to go there for those times when you can't use a, a more ink based pen anyway i just thought i'd show you these things um quick little update as i th think i said in a in a past um video it looks like uh, we're going to be moving house in the next sort of couple of months um so the videos might be a little less frequent they might be a little bit, bit different occasionally um but i'm going to keep pumping them out Please keep getting in touch if there are things you think I should be looking at that you want me to look at or if you've got things that you'd like to send me to look at. Um, just drop me a message on, on any of these videos or on any of the social media platforms or at my email address which is listed below. I'm really grateful for your support. Uh, any support, any way you want to support this uh, channel is very much appreciated. This is a hobby of mine. I don't make any money from it. It's just something I enjoy doing and sharing my my knowledge and my passion uh, with you all and the experiences that I have with these items. So I hope you find these videos useful. I really hope you, that you enjoy them uh, and uh, I look forward to keeping on making them and from hearing from you soon. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and paper and inks and all those sorts of things uh, and I'll talk to you later.